This ping pong table is made of solid walnut legs with mortise and tenon joinery. The top is made of plywood with a brass inlay down the center and a solid wood border to cover up the plywood edges. Want to see how I built it? All right, let's get started. First, I started with the mortise and I marked out where I wanted it to go and I put some double-sided tape on a piece of hardboard to mark one edge of the mortise. I used a scrap 2x4 and marked off the other edge, also creating a depth stop for my drill, and I just hogged away with a forcer a bit to clear out most of the material. It looks really bad right now, <laughs> I know. Um, then I used a chisel to clean up all those little pointy parts that the forcer a bit left over. That part's really important because you don't want to put a router in something where the little pointy things are sticking out. I cleaned it all up to the depth that I wanted, and voila, a mortise. Next up, I worked on the tenon. I used my crosscut sled to establish a shoulder on all four sides of my workpiece. And then used a tenoning jig to cut away at the cheeks, yeah, cheeks, to create the tenon. I decided to round off the tenon instead of square off the mortise. It seemed easier to me. I, I don't know why. And um, I just kept paring away until it finally fit. And I sanded the insides of all the legs and took a tea break, but nobody wants to see me sand. Time for assembly! I assembled all the pieces together, bing bing bing, fit perfectly, clamp it up, check for square. Now it's time to work on the top. I used plywood, uh, walnut plywood, and I decided to put a brass inlay in the middle down the line of the ping pong table, and I used my router um, to put in the inlay, just cut off some excess, file down some high points. It's really easy to work with. It filed and sanded so nicely. It just, look at that. Come on. Walnut brass, beautiful. Uh, I used my Craig jig to make some pocket holes around all the edges of the plywood and I put on the hardwood borders to cover up the ugly plywood sides. Um, see my double clamping action there? Yeah, I think I need longer clamps. Anyway, I think this is the part where I messed up the most where I think next time if I do it I would use biscuits to align the plywood with the hardwood. And there you have it. This is what it looks like now. So I was building this on the fly and I realized at this point that I needed to notch out the middle hardwood section to uh, make room for the supports that were going to go under the table. So circular saw and chisel to the rescue. Chisel, chisel. Love that thing. And it fits. The supports now fit flat against the plywood. And I did the same thing with the table legs, only this time I decided to use my router because it seemed cleaner and quicker. Um, but Routers are really, really messy. I used my crosscut sled again to make notches in the supports. I'm making a half lap here if you haven't guessed yet. Um, I need a dado stack. This is, this is ridiculous already. <laughs> it's a little bit tedious, but it works. And now the oak supports fit perfectly into the legs, creating a flat surface for the plywood to sit on. Some finishing touches, some filing, and some sanding. And onto the finish, I used Rubio Monocoat Pure Oil. It's just amazing stuff. You do one coat and it's done. Look, look at that. Look at the old man. You see the old man with the monocle? I'm just gonna let you enjoy this little bit in silence. And it's done! Brand! Woohoo! Well, not completely done. Now I had to assemble on location. I put the supports in the half laps and I pre-drilled and screwed the supports to the table legs. Now I just needed to attach the two halves of the top. I only did it like this because my car doesn't fit a full sheet and this was the only way that I could transport it. Um, next, I pre-drilled into the oak supports through the top of the table, and I screwed it all down. And done! It works! She didn't fall! If you want more details on this build, just let me know in the comments below. It may be a more informative tutorial video, or a more DIY friendly version without the Morrison tenon. Just shoot me a comment, or 
email, my website, Instagram, Facebook, you know, the whole thing. Like, share, comment. And if you like this, subscribe. Maybe there'll be some more videos coming soon.